Remains of last week's superstorm Daksuri inundated Beijing for a fourth straight day on Tuesday even as another typhoon approached the east coast. More than 50,000 people in the city have been evacuated so far, according to state media. Floods hit several districts, disrupting rail services and traffic, at least a dozen people died in the Philippines and Taiwan when Daksuri passed over the weekend on his way to China. Heavy rains are likely to continue this week, and flooding could worsen in northern areas around Beijing, Tianjin and Hebei provinces, the emergency management ministry has warned. At least nine people died in Hebei, officials said. Relentless rain over the weekend broke daily rainfall records at 14 weather stations in Beijing and the northern provinces of Hebei, Shangxi and Shandong. Chinese authorities have yet to release an official number of victims or report how many are missing outside the capital. Military helicopters were deployed in the early hours of Tuesday to deliver emergency food supplies and ponchos to people stranded in and around a train station in the worst affected Mentuga district in West Beijing, CCTV reported. About 150,000 households in the district are reported to be without running water. Nearly 400 flights on Tuesday were cancelled and hundreds were delayed at Beijing's two airports, according to flight tracking app Flightmaster. Footage shared online by residents in surrounding Hebei province shows swaths of land being ravaged by the floods. Residents in several neighborhoods in Hebei's Zhouzhou County were reported to have been trapped, some for nearly 24 hours, because rescue workers were unable to reach them. On Monday, state television published clips of the dramatic rescue of a man clinging to an overturned car caught in raging floods in the city of Wuhan, also in Hebei. The man and his car were circling in a flooded river before he was lifted to safety by helicopter. Like many parts of the world, China has experienced extreme heat and rain in recent weeks, which some scientists have linked to climate change. Daksuri made landfall in China's southeastern Fujian province on Friday, triggering landslides and flooding before moving north toward the capital. Hundreds of thousands of Fujian residents were evacuated Daksuri, which occurred a week after Typhoon Talon, also led to mass closings of schools and workplaces across the province. China's Meteorological Bureau said Beijing experienced about 170, 9 mm 6, 7 inches of flooding between Saturday evening and midday on Monday, equivalent to the average rainfall for the entire month of July. There is some relief with Typhoon Kanan on the horizon, it is expected to enter the East China Sea on Wednesday before moving on to the Chinese coastal provinces of Zhejiang and Fujian. Authorities in Beijing have closed more than 100 mountain roads and evacuated 52,000 people from their homes in Beijing. Many train and subway stations are closed, the Chinese government deployed four military helicopters with 26 personnel on Tuesday to deliver supplies to stranded train passengers in Beijing, according to state media. Local media reported the chaotic scene of a high-speed train stranded for 30 hours without access to food or drinking water.